Okay, so I figured out a way to show you. <laughs> to find the altitude, the easiest thing to do is if you find a ruler, right, you take a ruler, and you place it so it's straight on one side of a triangle. And so you see how the base of my ruler is straight on that triangle. And then I move it until it goes to the opposite angle. And so that, oops, I can get it to move a little bit. That line right there is the altitude because it makes a right angle through the triangle. So let's go back here and see if we can draw this. So again, it's a right angle through the triangle. Sometimes it's hard to see the right angles um, without the ruler, but the ruler definitely makes it easier. And then, whoa, what did I do? I'm not mean to zoom in that much. Then what we'll do is, oh, that's too small. What we'll do is if you draw on it and make it a right angle box, then that makes it a right angle, okay? So the easiest way, again, is to take a ruler and go through it. So let's try going through this one. So some of them, some points will intersect outside uh, let's see, this one actually looks like that is, look at that, that line is straight on that opposite side. So this line is an altitude right here, so let's draw another color. Oh, come on. I lost it. Let's go back to view. 100%. So let's go and... What happens here is that this line is an altitude because this was a right triangle, which we didn't even know. Okay, and then let's look and see what this other one looks like. And so I need to have the ruler go through this third side on the right. Let's see, so what was over here? And if it's a right triangle, well, I know that it's right over here also, so this other one is also one. So this is kind of a special case because the altitudes are on the triangle, which doesn't happen all the time. And so here's the other altitude. And this is the point where they intersect, which is called the orthocenter. Um, orthocenters don't do anything special. Uh, it's just the point of concurrency for altitudes. Well, centroids, they do cut the segment up. So let's look at these centroids problems. So I know, oh, stupid thing keeps zooming in. So I know that uh, QN right here, that whole thing is 33. So what I do to find out what each section is, remember it's cut into thirds, so I divide by three. And so that means this piece right here is 11, but then this is two of those, so it's 22. So P to N is 22, and Q to P is 11. Okay, let's try this next one. I can get the highlighter without zooming. Okay, Q to N, another Q to N. That whole thing, is 45, but again, it's going to be split into thirds, so I divide by three. And so that tells me this little piece is 15. So Q to P is 15, and P to N is two of those, so it's 30. So that's the basics of how it works. You find the length of the median, and then you divide it by three, and then you can find the one-third and the two-thirds. Okay, down here, let's see, this one's a little different. So it says D to E, this is seven. So that's the median we're, we're dealing with, okay? So if this one's seven, then this one's twice as long. So DC is 14. And then the whole thing, E to C, you just add those up, which is 21. All right, let's look at this one, D to E, same idea. D to E is only 12, but then this is double that, so that's 24. So D to C is 24, and E to C is 36. 
Now, there's some examples I didn't put up here, but let's go ahead and see if we can make some. Okay, so I created a couple more that you don't have in notes, but you're probably going to want to look at because you'll have some of these. <clears throat> so this one, I'm still dealing with this segment, right? So that's my medium that I'm dealing with. Um, C to D is 20. And how am I going to find this one? Well, if you look up here, remember that our small one was half the size of the big one. But I always gave you the small one, and then you doubled it because it's one-third and two-thirds. So this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide instead of three, divide by two. Because remember, it's kind of split into thirds here. And so this is 10. So e to d is 10. And then the whole thing, e to c, is 30. Okay, over here it's the same idea, but now I have an equation. This would be about as hard as it gets for you for this section. So let's, there's, let's highlight our median again. And so e to d is 2x plus 6, and d to c is 2x minus 4. So remember, it's 1 third and 2 thirds, so really I need two of those. So it's going to be 2 times 2x plus 6. That equals 2x minus 4. Because again, two of the small ones equal the bigger one. So I'm going to distribute and get 4x plus 12 is equal to 2x minus 4. I'm going to minus 2x on both sides, so 2x plus 12 is negative 4. And I've created a bad problem because we're going to get a negative, but that's just kind of, I made it quick and I made a mistake, okay? And so I divide by 2, and so I get negative 8. And so x is negative 8. Now, if I wanted you to find EC, you would plug it in, but because it's a negative, I'm not going to do that. Um, I should just switch the signs. I made the wrong plus and the wrong minus, but it'll work out as long as you understand that two of the small ones equals the whole one. <clears throat> so the big things to remember is median is midpoint to opposite angle. Altitude is right angle to opposite angle. And then medians make a centroid, and the centroid splits it into one-third and two-thirds.